Hi, um, Johnny, it's Melanie. Um, I'm a little confused about, well, about your politics. I don't want to be controversial here, but I just want to say, I'm looking down because I'm looking at myself in the screen. I'm a little narcissistic, sorry, but anyway, that was the third big word I used in 30 seconds. That's not good. <laughs> So don't be offended. I'm not trying to be, you know, whatever. But I just want to know. I just did a response, a video response to your um, vegetarian um, stance because I somehow revert to vegetarianism when my life becomes chaotic and out of control. And if I feel like I'm being oppressed um, systematically or in whatever way. Um, or if I if I'm experiencing some type of culture shock, like if I move from one place to another and I'm not being accepted or whatever by the majority, um, like on a micro level, then I revert to vegetarianism, which is sort of like my it's just like a weird response to my um, Christian background. We would as Christians go on a fast to deal with whatever social problems we were having so me it's just like an automatic natural response that for me to be a vegetarian it's like the ultimate sacrifice to to the universe and saying that okay if I give up meat you know then my life my social um, situation will change and it did it changed drastically so now I find myself at a crossroad and I'm like okay the whole reason for me making this tape was for me to ask why do you hate straight people if you if that was what your are you straight video parody was about so in my response I just want to know <coughs> If you hate straight people, why? Because, and the reason I'm asking is because I'm a straight person, but at one point in time I was curious and in my late 20s or whatever. So when I was curious, um, it was always because I had white girls coming up to me or hitting on me or whatever, like in friendship situations or whatever, where I didn't know that they were attracted to me, or I even had a boss who told me that she was attracted to me, and at whatever point, I'm 35 now, I never did become gay, I never, you know, became a lesbian or whatever, because, I mean, I tried, I've never really had gay sex, I was in a threesome once, but I never really had gay sex, and I think maybe a half, half a time I tried it, but I'm just not gay, so, and, but I, I'm not, I'm not a straight person who hate gay people, that's the thing, I'm a straight person who's like on the fence about being straight and not wanting to be gay, but every person I encounter is gay and they they want me to be gay but they have their conditions the one the first condition is that if I gotta be gay I have to be with a dominant black person black woman and I'm just like I'm not gay and it's a serious power dynamic going on here it's a power struggle with white people white women who are attracted to me but they only attracted because they want to vicariously live through a black person in order to get to me because they have some type of emotional attraction or whatever to me it's not sexual I don't think it's sexual and but because I'm straight I wouldn't know what sexual attraction is like for a lesbian woman see so the only connection I can have to another woman is an emotional attachment or whatever and that was what I was referring to it's like these women want to live vicariously through black women and they pressuring me everywhere I go to be gay and to have this connection with with gay black women and it's like I'm not gay and now the big thing is oh I'm prejudiced I'm a racist because I'm a light-skinned black person and the white in me hates black people and it's so weird because I grew up around black I'm black you know and I can never hate my own race 
I'm a Christian and I have I'm so beyond this you know all of this this drama emotionally and psychologically I'm beyond this whole game that women are playing it's like the the best we can do is be friends because you know it'll never work for me to be a lesbian with a black or white person because it's just not who I am and soon as people realize that then we wouldn't have these big things about gay rights and straight rights and it don't matter we can just be friends and that's it you know just if it's an emotional thing people need to realize that they need to get their emotions in check and so they won't be because it's causing a lot of problems it's like most of the people who are flirting with me have a partner <laughs> I mean, one thing about, one rule about gayness is most gay couples last at least 10 years. All the ones I know, they last a long time. Except for the teenagers who are dramatic and kind of edgy, you know, they kind of get a little edgy and, you know, whatever, because they don't know how to manage it. But the first thing about being gay is emotions, managing your emotions. If you can't do that, I don't think you're emotional or mature enough to be a gay person. I'm not gay by preference because it's just not who I am. <laughs> I'm not wired that way. You have to be wired that way. And if you're not wired to be gay, you won't be gay, no matter what happens. <laughs> so, I just want to know, why do you hate straight people? Thanks.